What's going on guys, Dogness here, and today we are looting not 100, not 200, but 1,000 Winter's Day gifts. Now you're probably thinking, who would be dumb enough to buy 1,000 of these from the market on the day that they came out? Well, folks, you're looking at them, and I'm here to show you why this may or may not be a good idea. Um, I'm thinking, you know, with my track record, this is going to be a bad idea. So I'm just going to, in this first clip here, show you opening what 250 of them looks like. I can already tell you there's a mini drop, uh, like the mini pet drop. That's kind of the one that puts you up a couple gold at a time, so I'm really hoping I get two or three of those. Um, I hope there's a couple more rare drops. I haven't looked at the drop table yet. I'm just doing this and saying, you know what, let's see what we get, because who reads? I mean, I do, but I just want to know. Anyways, so the loot here ranges anywhere from 2 silver to 10 silver. And it drops pretty regularly, so hopefully we get a lot of the, like, the higher end, like 8 and 9 silver stuff, because this thing drops a couple items at once, as you can kind of see the little slat things kind of lighting up 2 and 3 at a time. So it's... My hope that I get a lot of the higher end stuff and it adds up to be a little bit more and then the rare drops kind of push it over. So I'm kind of feeling like the rare drops are like with the profit arc. And you can kind of break even on like just the normal stuff. Because everything is super high right now because it all just came out, you know, like in the last day. And well, obviously not from the time we're recording. Well, from the time we're recording, yes. But from the time you're viewing this, it's probably a few days later. Because I'm not just going to run and post this. That was the other one I wanted to post first. So, sorry, this one loses. It's a couple days later. But it's still relevant to the prices of the time you're going to see. You know, it doesn't really matter. But uh, the prices are all going to be linear. So let's check in the next clip and see what we actually got as a total loot. And now that we're here with the total loot, it looks to me like we actually got some good stuff here. Um, I'm a little worried, though. Because of the rare drops, it doesn't look like we got too many of them. Uh, a little. And this is going to be kind of relevant with looting for the entirety of this uh, event. Um, there are a lot of these things that people need like 10,000 of, so... Yeah, this little thing, look at that, 3 gold, we're going to sell that instantly. Uh, like the potions, people need like 10k of them, so they're going to be buying them the entire time, so they're probably going to stay pretty high. Which means the boxes are going to be staying pretty high priced the entire time. Which is good for people who farm them and need some gold, because you can get a lot of them per hour. And they sell for, I think currently, should be 9 or 10 silver. Again, if you're watching this at a later date, it's going to be more, but um... We're going to be selling off all the loot now, and we're going to see if we made any money, because this cost us about 90 gold. Uh, now we lost 6, damn. Well, next time we'll do good. Um, if you liked it, guys, leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching this. You rock, and goodbye.